Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Most Embarrassing Moments in Sports Sometimes in sports, athletes may turn to be some sort of actors in a comedy show. Some may end up being stupid or end up in a funny, embarrassing scenario that will have the whole world talking about it. But isn't that why we love sports sometimes? Well, grab your popcorn and be ready to laugh your guts out. Here are 10 most embarrassing moments in sports. Number 10. Showboating Wrestler We start off with a moment that will fill you with joy, excitement, merriment, and remind you of your buddy who's always fond of showing off, but is actually just a massive chancer who can't pull anything off in life. We all have that one pal who thinks he or she can do anything. What's worse is if they are those annoying people who are actually good at most things and they're willing to remind you. But then everyone with their cockiness can get a little carried away, let their guard down, and end up looking more stupid than anyone ever before in life. Well, I would reckon that you'll agree with us that the two places you should never allow that to happen are in an octagon MMA or in a boxing ring. This is simply because a guy is standing just meters away from you, wanting to knock the living daylight out of you in either of those arenas. You may be strongly urged to argue that a little showboating in a fight can be alright, but in the middle of the fight, you should certainly not start dancing. Anyway, that's exactly what Joe Harding did at BC MMA 16 when he faced Johan Sagas, with Sagas knocking out his opponent in ridiculous circumstances. The knockout blow was delivered as Harding attempted some slick, smooth dancing moves to taunt Sagas, leaving him himself exposed to Sagas's head kick. It initially meant that Joe would need some medical attention, but fortunately after that, he was okay and at the same time, hopefully learned a lesson or two. We do, however, encourage you to showboat while playing Mortal Kombat or Justice League on your console, just not in the ring. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Kemba Walker Missed Shot Celebration Now this one will have you rolling in your seat. When you shoot a basketball, sometimes it just feels good. For the majority of the NBA players, almost always, feeling good about a shot means it's going in. Well, until it doesn't, while Nick Young had been the previous champion to celebrate too early, Charlotte Hornets' Kemba Walker gave him a run for his money in December of 2016. Furthermore, we measure success in memes, because this is the internet. Because after that evening, Kemba had made more than a few memes about him. Walker squared out a jumper from the top of the key in the second half of a game against the Miami Heat. The ball bounced off the front rim, and it looked like it was on a trajectory to fall through the hoop. Walker wasn't really waiting for that to actually happen, of course, and he actually went one step further. Kemba Walker celebrated with a full-blown shimmy at his errant jumper. The television network had some fun with Walker's premature celebration using the Do Not Start Dancing message. Despite it being years ago, the former Yukon star is likely never going to live this one down. On top of that, in the 2016-2017 season, Kemba Walker was having what many consider to be an all-star season, but this might become the headliner on his low-light reel as a professional basketball star. Number 8. Cyclist Dream Shattered This happens enough throughout all sports nowadays that this should be a universal truth. Don't celebrate until the final whistle is blown, until the finish line is officially crossed, until those in charge have confirmed that you've won, don't under any circumstances. This is the time when a Czech cyclist rode to the finish line and celebrated his new status as a world champion. Sadly though, his dream was shattered quickly when he realized he'd celebrated one lap too soon. This is Adama Tupolik. 19 years of age at that time, in Husden Zolder, Belgium, taking part in the under-23s men's cyclocross world championship. He'd stopped pedaling despite the crowd and commentator pushing him to start. His opponents rode past him one by one as he raised his arms in celebration. One can hear the commentator saying, Oh no, he thinks he's won! 
No, it's just one race lap to go. It would appear that Tupelik hadn't heard the bell announcing the final lap. Tupelik, who eventually came second after the race, admitted that he was an idiot for losing count of laps. Number 7. Novak Djokovic Racket Smashing with Andy Murray At the Shanghai Rolex Masters in 2012, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray both took equal turns to smash their rackets in a hard-fought three-set final. Djokovic won the game, and in the first set, he won the best racket-breaking prize for his effort. After losing the first set, Murray Murray added his own entry, but it was no match for Novak's greatest effort. When Djokovic asked what was going on when he destroyed his frame, he answered, You don't want to know what I was thinking. He then added, I see nothing evil in displaying your emotions feelings, positive and negative. I think it's understandable that in this way we can demonstrate our emotions. Alright, it's not good if we obviously break a racket. Occasionally, it happens, but we're in the middle of the fight, amid an amazing match. We play for a major trophy we both want to win. I guess that was his way of showing how raged he was. Number 6. The Slipped One From the special one to the slipped one. Manchester United sacked Jose Mourinho after a dismal start to the season and an increasing rift inside the dressing room, which wasn't the first time such a major issue had occurred during his managerial career. Since then, Mourinho has gone to enjoy life away from the dugout, performing some media work and spending time with his family in his homeland sunnier, warmer climates. But during one certain Monday, he came crashing down to earth, literally, while performing his duties as the special guest starter for the ice hockey match between Avangard Omsk and SKA St. Petersburg in Siberia. Upon tossing the puck between Evgeny Medvedev of Avangard and Pavel Datsyuk of SKA, Mourinho turned to walk back along the red carpet, only to slip under him, sending him crashing on the ice. As Datsyuk helped him back to his feet, Mourinho quickly laughed at the incident before Medvedev also embraced him while checking that he was okay. It seems that moment is way past him as he looks to make the Spurs qualify for the Champions League on June 17th when the Premier League resumes. Number 5. Bodybuilder Struggles Some of the best moments come from the crowd, or rather the spectators. Here we have such an example, during a New York Mets game, a bodybuilder was unable to open a water bottle. But little does he know, the whole world was a witness to his struggle as the screens in the stadium showed his problem. After becoming the target of ridicule, the muscle man battle was shared on many social media platforms and came forward to set the record straight. It was not my water bottle first of all. Christopher, as he's called, told the Daily News. A security guard in the dugout area who was having trouble with it handed it over to me. By the way, the guy was much bigger than me. It seems he felt super embarrassed that Chris didn't want to share his last name. He claimed that neither he nor the security guard managed to make the cap budge as much as possible. Nevertheless, despite being the butt of more than a few jokes, since the YouTube clips of the scene were watched more than 2 million times, Chris has maintained his sense of humor over the incident. I'm not blaming anyone, it's pretty funny, said Chris, but there were a lot of things presented wrongly. Number 4. The Fall of Usain Bolt Needless to say, only a man on wheels can take Usain Bolt down. A cameraman on a two-wheel vehicle banged into Bolt from behind shortly after the Jamaican great won a fourth 200-meter title and a tenth gold overall at the World Championships. The Olympic champion was quickly down on his back, falling over until he got back on his feet and then holding his left leg briefly. He walked back to the cameraman after regaining his composure to make sure he was fine too. Having worked for the host broadcaster CCTV, Song Tao covered very various sporting activities like the Asian Games and the Olympics, but he'd never met a global symbol until he smashed into Bolt unintentionally during the 200-meter victory lap of the athlete. Song announced that after the incident, he apologized to Bolt. Before Bolt's medal ceremony, the pair shook hands in the middle of smiles all around. Song seemed to give a good luck charm to Bolt to attach around his wrist. Bolt jokingly blamed all of this on his opponent, Justin Gadlin, whom he'd beaten for the second time in five days in his press conference after the race. I didn't hit a cameraman, he took me out, Bolt said, holding with his right hand on his track spikes as he rolled to get back on his feet. Justin Gatlin paid him the rumor I'm trying to start right now. 
Silver medalist Gatlin, who was seated at the post-race news conference next to Bolt, brutally quipped, I want my money back. Number 3. Blindfolded Dunk Attempt After being named co-champion of the 2014 Philippine Basketball Association Dunk Contest, Justin Melton of Pure Foods entered the competition in the 2015 year as a favor to take the undisputed crown. What no one thought was that maybe he would put down the funniest attempt in the history of dunk competition. The 5'9 guard was blindfolded on his second attempt of the first round, with the shirt of his Pure Food star Hotshots teammate, Joe DeVance. Melton then proceeded to the basket, jumped off the ground a few feet, and spiked the ball as hard as he could about 5 feet from the basket. The dunk won him fives out of all five judges, removing him from the competition. Melton later proceeded to share his mind on Twitter saying, My butt is hurting right now in Filipino. Since then, the dunk attempt became viral and has been shared on USA Today, SB Nation, Sporting News, and other outlets. Looking at the bright side, nobody will accuse him of having a see-through blindfold as they did Cedric Sabalos way back in the day. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Celine Van Duyn's Swimming Suit It seems there might have been a wardrobe malfunction, with the worst case scenario being a slip. However, that's not the case and it is just professional swimmer Celine Van Duyn during the Women's 1 Meter Spring Swimming Berlin 2014 just adjusting her costume. Nothing out of the top embarrassing happened to her, but it seems her swimming suit was a bit out of place. All eyes all over the world were on her as the television broadcast followed her around as she struggled to put it in place. This often happens so we can't really fault her. Thank you to the subscriber for sending this photo in and we hope this solves the curiosity. Number 1. Liverpool Embarrassed by Atletico Madrid Just before football was banned due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this was the last match fans attended and people all over the world enjoyed a football atmosphere in Anfield. In February 2020, an early strike from Sol Niguez in the Champions League at Wanda Metropolitano gave Atletico Madrid a 1-0 win over holders Liverpool. The Liverpool players and coach told reporters that the war isn't yet won, and when they play in Anfield, Liverpool's home stadium, Atletico Madrid will be in for a beating. When the second leg came in March, Atletico Madrid defeated Liverpool yet again this time with a two-goal deficit. On top of that, Liverpool had no shot on target. Ouch! I'm sure there are more hilarious gems yet to be uncovered, so why don't you share with us in the comment section below, and maybe we'll do a part two.